Well, the school board in San Francisco just voted to spend $600,000 to destroy historic murals of George Washington in a local high school. At a recent school board meeting, city residents said that destroying art is a matter of human rights. It is a racist mural. My history should not be racist, but it is. Please help it stop. Paint it down. No cover-ups. It's a matter of human right. The right to learn without hostile environments. When I went to school every day, I had to walk into the entrance and look at those murals. It did not speak to me. It was wrong. It was dehumanizing. I don't want another student who doesn't have to see those murals to have to see them. The images are so painful, they must be destroyed. Ethan Behrman is a California radio host, and he joins us. Now, Ethan, thanks a lot for coming on. So when thanks for having me, Tucker. did liberals decide it's okay to destroy art if politicians don't like it? Well, I, I don't know that that's exactly what was decided here. Actually, I wish it would have been able to be preserved yes, and exactly sent to a museum or a gallery, happened. but it wasn't. It, it's actually painted right on the wall itself, and therefore the only solution if it was decided in this case, I think, rightfully, because of you just saw the upset in the face and, and the emotions of the students. Um, there's a lot of science there behind that type of uh, implication of the being in their face every day. Look, it's really important to note, Tucker, one key thing there's here. No, let, me science just, let, let, shown, let me just correct you. There's no yeah. science. There's no science. The science of self-esteem is actually bogus. But, but hold on. But you're saying so people don't like it, so it must be destroyed. So if I don't like a piece of art, can I petition my representative to destroy it as well? I mean, what? No. So the, what's the what's the rule? Come on, Tucker. So here we have a picture that was historically accurate that showed President George Washington with his slaves, with dead Native Americans. And we have students right. at this school who are black Americans, who are Native American descent, who are Mesoamerican. And they to see that every day when you walk into school, to be in their face, that this is who you are. You're a slave. You're to be murdered because you are standing up against, well, well the Americans well, taking over what, your for, territory. Mesoamericans, hold on, Mesoamericans have no, no role in the mural at all. I mean, that's a completely separate category. I don't know what that has to do with any of this, actually. But, but that's not what the mural says. The mural is not celebrating the murder of anyone, actually. It was painted by, as you know, a communist who later moved back to the Soviet Union yeah. who was trying to highlight the downside, you know, the other side of the Washington's legacy. So, so it's trying to be historically accurate, which I, I think it, no one would dispute that it is. But the broader question is, it's art. It's being destroyed because the left doesn't like the message. Why is this different from book burning? It, it, it is quite different from book burning, and here's why, wow. because we study about George Washington in our history books. It's important. I, I, there's a really important piece here that uh, research has shown that black students, before taking an exam, when having to identify their ethnicity, score lower on tests. This is doing that to them every single day when they walk into school. Do we not want to help what? the black community is, do better this, on tests? Yes, insane. we do. This is insane. It's it's not insane. Is, There's research actually, behind that. No, no. Okay, okay. Look, e e Ethan. This is one set of murals in one school in one city in right. America. This is not responsible for the test gap. Okay, but it's not changing the fact that you're endorsing the destruction of art because you don't like it. So this is very no, different so, from book burning. It's very different from the Taliban destroying Buddhist statues. Because why? I don't see any difference at all. And I'm a little surprised. It, Do you think that your liberal self 30 years ago would have been in favor of destroying art? So I don't like destroying art at all. And again, to my point, which oh. is, one, we have photographs of this. I, I don't. And, but, but this has a different place. This is a, a piece that we have pictures of. I wish it could have been moved. It couldn't. We learn about George Washington in our history books. We're not de deleting George Washington. We're removing one specific mural in one school where people are having a very strong reaction to it. And again, and there is evidence to support Who cares that, what their that reaction. Imagery. So if I walk in... If people that walk into the museum scores. and say, "That's," but that's that's of course bo completely bogus. That's like a it, it's absurd not, lie that nobody. Doctor. There's not one I'll person who believes you the, I'll provide nobody, you the information. Nobody believes that. Nobody believes that's the problem. Absolutely. Here's have you, have you taught if in, in a black in, majority school? You've got to be kidding. I'm, 
I'm do you not, think Tucker. I'm not. That given but this standard, given this standard, do you think any art is safe? What would prevent anyone from walking into any museum and saying that image is so offensive to me, it, it, it's a physical injury upon me, it must be destroyed? By the Ethan Behrman standard, it must I'm be destroyed. No, that, that's absolutely not what I said. So here in a museum, that is a place where we maintain art and we maintain historical artifacts, even if they're offensive. So, for example, I want to maintain our knowledge of what the Nazis did, for example. That doesn't mean when I walk into school, I want it in my face to find out what happened to the Jews. But I want to maintain that information. I want to maintain the pictures. I think the Auschwitz Museum, right. the Holocaust Museum are very important. Those are different circumstances. Ethan Behrman, thanks for joining us tonight. We're going to have to end it there. Thanks, Doctor.